Today I want to discuss about cybersecurity strategy for working from home. It is a situation where employees are allowed to take their work and do it from their respective homes. Working from home has its own advantages and disadvantages, but we will focus on the strategy that need to be implemented. Working from home is part of biz the business continuity plan of the company. This time, the period of COVID-19, where a lot of businesses have been disrupted. Employers want to make their employees to continue performing their respective tasks. The core objectives of cybersecurity is to provide a sense of assurance that the assets or the information is secured or the information are secured. Confidentiality. Only authorized employees or people who have access to certain information. Integrity. The information will only be altered or changed in a prescribed manner. Availability. Making information available when it is needed to be used or to be accessed by authorized users. Now, in this situation of where employees now are working from home, it is required that the company maintains its assets. It could be information. The assets could be the computer systems, a laptop, a tablet, or a desktop, depending on which tool the employee is using when working from home. These tools are identified. The value is attached to that asset. Information is one of the most important assets to the business. And information now is a commodity which is being sold across the globe. Now, as an employee is sitting from the comfort of their home, how are we going to be sure that the information is going confidential? Let's give an example of an employee who is a financial person or an accountant or from HR. These people, they, can, they work with highly confidential information. And then as the person is working from home, are we provided a tunnel, mitigated and provided a mechanism, a technique that is going to make sure that the information from home to the savers or to the business partners is secured. That's where the strategy of encryption, the strategy of cryptography need to be employed. And integrity, how are we going to achieve this to make sure that the information changed in a prescribed manner? we will maintain non-repudiation and employees working from home where there are other people. An employee well may say that he or she is tired and may ask other occupants from the house to help the employee perform the task. That needs to be looked at as well. And availability, the resources, the assets need to be available when the employee want to perform the task. An employee is working from home and his position is very critical to the business. An employee receives the call that he or she needs to perform a certain transaction. Now, this period of prolonged load shedding, an employee will say, I do not have power at home, and my laptop battery is drained or it's low. And all these need to be mitigated. All these need to be looked at as businesses, companies are sending their employees to work from home. A risk assessment needs to be conducted. Identify the asset. What is the real threat to this? And what are the risks associated to this kind of an asset? You need to see what tools, technologies, people, and manage that we need to associate to that risk. Are we going to shift to transfer the risk are we going to ignore the risk or are we going to live with the risk? It's very important at this stage, employees are being sent to work from home to have a cybersecurity council that will analyze, assess the situation. We can have a committee of people from legal department 
people from HR department, people from audit or risk, and from IT. They form a committee to look at all these situations to come up with a strategy. The risk assessment officer will perform and conduct the risk and present the report. And then they will come up with a policy which HR department are going to enforce to make it simple to the employee and enforce it. And of course, the legal department, they will address it to conform to the law allowed to go and work from home. If the equipment is damaged, if the equipment is stolen, if the information is stolen, is it going to be the fault or are we going to charge an employee or the company will take up and they come up with a, with a certain way to handle that situation. That's why it needs to be done and get handled before things get out of hand. The IT department, the HR, the legal, and the risk department to work together to come up with a business continuity plan where there will be a policy, where there will be a, the technologies, where there will be uh, the guidance on how business will be sustained. It's very important to have a business continuity plan even during this COVID-19. Thank you.